Okay, let's see here. Time to fly to Kosovo. Wait, what? What the? Wait, what? Where's the what? Wait. What just flashed before my eyes? Were those T's layered on... Okay... Alright! Big question mark! Well, welcome Dragon fans to Dragon the Ancient Gates Glitch Tutorial Episode 23 and what in the world did I see back there? I have some idea, though I have no programming knowledge, that it just... Uh, something they used as uh, kind of a blue screen, maybe? Uh, I think I'm more thinking movies rather than programming, but in any case, if any of you actually know what that is, uh, let me know, because I'm curious as to why there are rows of T's. First, there's nothing. Then there is rows of T's, and then water. Heck, I think even some of the colors, the mix of the dark blue and the light blue tees mixed together kind of makes a watercolor. So, I don't know if you guys can answer that for me. That would be great. <laughs> In any case, there's a lot of things that when you load a game from, uh, from a save, uh, they are currently not using. Like if you load a save and then you reload it, uh, loading from another save to this, or loading from the title screen uh, to another save. I guess you get some weird things as the game is trying to render everything. Heck, you can even have a Superman Arok as he flies without flapping his wings, going to save the day! But in any case, let's move on to uh, Kosovo and see what fun we can do in his lair. I think, the key note, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a weapon. Let's see. Well, first I'm gonna do uh, the Earth Blade, because I think that will be more interesting than doing the Flame Strike again and again. Well, first on our list, let's have Rin summon the undead. Oh. That was a failed attempt. Let's try that again. There we go. Just cast it down on the land here, and you'll be able to summon uh, the skeletons here actually will encounter before. However, you can only summon the skeletons that appear in this area, part of the uh, level. But you get to go ahead and get rid of some of them for some experience. I would rather be able to summon the undead and have them fighting a full army to take down Kosovo, but I guess that's a bit out of character for Ren to actually delve into some necromancy. But in any case, you can also use this as good practice of trying to aim your shots perfectly, either at moving targets or targets that are very far away, given that you can't just look down at them and cast a powerful seat just a little bit lower. I think I got it. Yes! Direct hit on one of them. And then the others get burned in the process. Nice! In any case, let me load back to previous save I'm getting in here. This is why I equipped the Earth Blade or any enchantment blade. Uh, if you notice, the green light isn't glowing inside it anymore. So, when you load back on a, I guess, a portal that does a transition save, though I need to try this uh, going to... Uh, I guess it would make sense, because, I mean, tra going in the portal normally has the enchantment, so if I were to do, like, the... Uh, uh, the Realm of the Ice uh, Golems, uh, it won't work because it's not a transition save. So yeah, it's the game does not render the enchantment. So yes, your blade, uh, you can do the Mugenjin here as well, but it's not just Mugenjin, you can do other uh, weapons here as well as, as with the Blades of the Order. Okay, now to get to some juicy stuff. This is probably the best part of whole, the whole Kasafo level. So first, let's take care of these skeletons. Yes, yes, Kasafo, go ahead, go on your little rant, and I'm not Daramon, and just 
Wish to get your revenge, la di da da da. I'm just here to kill you and get the reward. And plus, I get a free spell. So in any case, so you see him floating around there. What you want to do is lure him to the bridge. Careful not to trigger the bridge itself. If you get too close, uh, it'll cast a lightning to shatter the bridge and move away. So you don't want to trigger that. So you just wait right back here. And you wait, you just wait right here. You just wait for him to decide to go on the bridge. He doesn't exactly have to get on the bridge, but he has to get past a certain point on the bridge. You basically have to see him twitching. Oh, speaking of which, look at this. There he is, twitching. Whenever he gets too far from that point, he always will move, when he moves back, he'll always go to, oh wait, no, he's not twitching yet. Okay. There we go, he's on the bridge. Okay, that was false alarm, but every time he goes back from that point, there we go. See? He's stuck. I guarantee you he's stuck. That was a false alarm. I've never seen him actually do the twitching thing in the back. But that was a false alarm. I guess he couldn't decide where to go. But here, you now have him literally stuck. He can't move anywhere. I mean, he can go up and down, but he literally cannot free himself, no matter how high he flies. However, only you have the power to free him if you so wish to. And that's also why I have the Earth Blade equipped. Oh, hey. Oh, right, right, right. I did a running jump. I guess that kind of got the light back to the Earth Blade. Or maybe it did it earlier. I would have to look back in the video to see if that... Or not. But in any case, I just want to go ahead and clear some of these skeletons. I'll get back to more fun with Casafold. Okay, now after having fun with killing all the skeletons, given that he's stuck, and that's a whole advantage to it, because you know how annoying he is when you're killing the skeletons, and then he decides to move towards you to attack. Because sometimes it's like, okay, I'll just go to this group of skeletons. I don't see them anywhere, so it's safe to attack. And right when they're, you're in the middle of a scuffle, especially when some of the skeletons have taken some of your health, here comes Kasavo! Here to just ruin your day. In any case, let's go ahead and take your time to pick at him. Yeah, look here. He actually has a... I always thought it was a gem, but actually it's a hollow part. Uh, on his chest. Cause I always thought that was supposed to be kind of like a lich's like thing that keeps him alive. Nah, but in any case, you can hack at him all you want, or cast a lot of spells at him. Heck, like, let's see. Fireball. Though that's not very effective. But I love watching him burn. Burn! Burn the corpse! I mean, isn't that supposed to be the best way you kill the undead is burning them? Okay. But another nice little. Let's see. Is it this way? Yes, yeah, this way. Hey, Casa Vol, can you heal me? Thank you, you are of great help. Still using healing potions better. And once you learn with Juvenate, you won't have to actually use uh, Soul Steel to heal. But I just thought I'd show you. The one thing you do not, the only two that you should never use, unless for some reason you want to free him, is either the Earthly Special or Impale. Unfortunately, I don't know Impale yet. But. I summon thee, Kazavol! I summon thee free! Oh, is he still stuck? Oh wait, no he's in! No he's in! Ah! Get away! Get away! Get away! Ah! Run 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 Okay. Okay. I mean, oddly enough, I guess he's actually still stuck, but now he will attack you. Hmm. 
I mean, are you st Oh, crap! I thought we could be friends! I just freed you! You dick! That's why you never help the bad guy. You end up being not back, Zappa. Have all these death hell spells being cast upon you. Oh, speaking of uh, death spells cast on you, a nice little fun thing you can do with Kazavol. I mean, it's not really a glitch or anything, but I always kind of like to do it is... Let's see. I wonder. I'm gonna try for it. Jump! Swing! Ha ha! I How did that feel, Cossa? I immediately regret my decision! Well, while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and bypass into the mountain here after leaving Casa Vol, and I will just want to check if Casa leaving out of the City of the Damned, if it will actually reset the, um... Uh, Outer limits to normal, so I want to get over here, turn around, and yes! Yes, 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 yes. So, it does reset the outer limits to normal. At least that's until you go to Jade's Emporium, get the free spell, and then, well, you're gonna have to go to another transition save and come right back in order to reset the outer limits to normal again. So that's it for this episode, and in the next episode, we'll be going to the Valley of the Fallen. See you next episode!